So we're all back with talk part two. All right. Creepy Joe threatens Russia. Let's continue. All right. So I believe I left off at uh, verse 15. We did that. Let's pick it up at verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, and their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives rabbit. This, this is getting ready to happen, okay, on an unbelievable scale, people. All right? Behold, I will stir up the Medes. That's Gog and Magog. That's Russia. You see that? This is about the Lord. This is the Lord's movie. All right? He is the director. He's the producer. He's the writer. He's the potter and we're the clay. The scriptures, that's the script. And everybody has a part to play in it. Okay? The two-thirds of Israelites that are not in concert with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, who are rebellious and refuse to repent. You have Esau, who plays the part of the wicked, you know, the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan here on the earth, all right, who's the puppet to the Lord, the main puppet, because he is the sword of the Lord, the hammer of the earth, okay? Everybody has a part to play, but this is the Lord's movie, okay? No one refuses, no one can resist the will of the most high. Do you understand? All right, he's in charge. All right. So I will stir up the Medes, which is Russia, Gog and Magog, also in the scriptures. All right. Against them, against who? America, Babylon, the great. Against Esau, Edom, the Edomite. Against the beast system. All right. Which shall not regard silver as for gold. They shall not delight in it. Their bows, all right, the missile silo, so it's talking about the missiles, shall also dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb, meaning women, right? And their eyes shall not spare children. Verse 19, and Babylon, and we're talking about America, Babylon the Great. We're not talking about ancient Babylon people. All right? Uh, the glory of kingdoms, right? And again, this links up with Isaiah, the 47th chapter. Sitting on the ground, O virgin daughter of Babylon, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. The Chaldeans is a reference to ancient Babylon and the uh, priesthood were known as the Magi. In modern day today, that's talking about your cabal, your shadow government, the international banking families, your Rothschilds, your Oppenheimers, your Rockefellers, etc., etc., 13 families and all. You understand? The head tribe being Amalek, the Amalekites. You understand, people? All right? Talking about them. When you see, uh, talking about the Chaldeans, all right, and Babylon, the glory of kingdom, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency. You know what that word excellent means? It's talking about their arrogance, their pride. Okay? And I told you, nobody's more proud of an Edomite. All right? For example, when you read Revelations, the 20th chapter, right around, uh, starting around the 20th verse there, all right? And you read all down, and it's talking about when he's ready uh, to sit down and fill his belly, the Lord's going to rain ICBM missiles upon him. The iron weapon. You understand that? While he's busy sitting down to fill his belly, celebrating, you know, his uh, new world order, his NWO. Yeah, the Lord's going to rain ICBMs upon him. All right? All right, it shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And again, there are many other things that link up with it. Jeremiah 49, all right? All right, and it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But the wild beasts in the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and the sayers shall dance there, and the wild beasts 
of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses and the dragons in their pleasant palaces and her time is near to call. Who's that? America, Babylon, the great Esau, Edom, Stein, the Edomites, right? The white man to come and her days shall not be prolonged. You see that? Because there is a bounds that the Lord has set that Esau cannot go beyond. A time of rulership, a bounds he cannot pass. Okay, you read that in uh, Jeremiah, all right? Uh, and I believe you also read about it in uh, Job 14 and 5, all right, where it speaks about the boundaries, all right? Let's uh, continue here. Let's jump to uh, Jeremiah 50, all right? Give me a minute. All right, this is Jeremiah 50 and 9. We'll pick it up here. All right, and we'll read down to uh, verse 16. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. Again, we're talking about America, Babylon the Great, an assembly of great nations. You see that? You understand that, people? All right. This is, this is not 1945, the end of World War II. This is 2021. We have many nations now that have ICBM capability. You understand that the Lord is going to put his will onto not just, you know, the Medes, Gog and Magog, Russia, but onto all the other nations that have ICBM capability. And that also includes America's own allies. Give me a minute. Let me prove that to you. All right. All right. This is Revelations, the 17th chapter. All right. And what does it say here? At verse 16, we're going to read verse 16 and 17. What does it say here? And the 10 horns. Who are the 10 horns? That's the EU nations. All right. That's the financial and political arm of the beast. All right. The bankers. You understand that? Okay, so the ten horns, right, which thou sawest upon the beast, the beast is NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the military arm, the iron teeth of the beast. These shall hate the whore. Who's the whore? America, Babylon, the great. Those are America's allies. These shall hate the whore, America, Babylon, the great, and shall make her desolate and naked, eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. Now, how the hell do you think they're going to burn America with fire? You think they're just going to fly over America, pour gasoline and light a match? No. They're going to send ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, that thermonuclear fire. Now, when we read the next verse, you're going to find out why and how that's going to happen. For the Most High have put it in their hearts, hearts in Hebrew is lob which means mind. So the Lord will put it in their mind to fulfill his will. You see that? Do you understand? Okay. What further goes along with that? Right? See, what I've been reciting already. Okay. What is it? Escalatius, right? 18 and 3. See? Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand? And all things, I repeat, all things obey his will. For he is the king of all by his power, dividing the holy things among them from the profane. Profane meaning ungodly, like Esau. He's ungodly. You understand, people? All right, I'll give you one more for your, for your further understanding. Uh, what is that? Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. I repeat, a king's heart is in the hand of the Lord Yahweh. As rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. So he controls the hearts and minds of the kings of the earth. You understand? This is his movie. All right, let's get back. All right. All right, so we proved that. So... And they shall set themselves in array against her, against America, Babylon the Great. She shall be taken. Their arrows, 
Alice is talking about missiles. Let's prove that. Give me a minute. All right. This is Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, the definition of arrow. What do we see here? Number one, a missile shot from a bow, usually having a slender shaft, a pointed head, and feathers at the butt. You see that? A missile. Talking about ICBMs. Again, in the ancient time, there were no ICBMs. You understand that? There were no missiles. You got that? So, in the ancient times, the vocabulary, all right, broken down for modern day arrows is missiles. Okay? Got that? All right. Give me a minute. All right. So, in their arrows, talking about the ICBM, shall be as of a mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. And the Chaldea, all right, talking about America, Babylon the Great, all right, Edom, shall be a spoil, and all that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. You read about this in Habakkuk, the second chapter, about the nations, all right? Uh, uh, are they not going to take... Uh, up a proverb against America, Babylon the Great? Absolutely. Where else? Isaiah 33 and 1. Let's read about it. Give me a minute. All right, this is Isaiah 33 and 1 to show you about America, Babylon the Great. All right, how she spoiled other nations, but watch what's going to come back on her. All right, recompense. Woe, which means destruction to thee that spoileth and thou wasn't spoiled, right? America has never been, uh, right, overthrown, right? And thou was not spoiled. And dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee, right? The other nations didn't deal treacherously with America, right? Out of fear, right? And they just simply took advantage. When thou ceasest to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they, they who? The other nations, who now have ICBM capability, they shall deal treacherously with thee. There you go, people. It's going to return upon their own heads. Give me a minute. All right, let's continue here. Verse 11, because uh, ye were glad because ye rejoice, O destroyers of my heritage, right? That's all the nations, but it starts with the Tabernacles of Edom. Go, go read Psalms 83, all right? Because ye are grown fat as heifers at grass and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded. Who is the mother of America? The British Empire. America comes out of Great Britain, all right? As a matter of fact, you know what? I'll tell you about that when we come back. I'm going to end this here. We'll be right back with part three and we'll pick it up there. All right, shuttle off.